The first step in making the frog form is to have the patient lay down centered on the baseboard. Next, you have four triangular inserts that you're going to use to hold the patient's legs in place. Have the patient put their legs in a frog form position. Next, remove the tape covers and slowly go around the patient, putting the leg supports in position. There's a support for the patient's thighs and for the patient's lower legs to hold them in position. Go around the patient and carefully put all four of these pieces in place. Next, open the bag fully, pop air into it, and get ready to place the form inside of the bag. Place the form deep inside of the bag going all the way to the end. Next. Open the set of foaming agents and pour all of bottle one into bottle two. Put the cap on securely and shake with the cap pointing down away from you for 10 times seconds. Next, remove the cap and carefully start placing the foam over the leg supports. Be careful to pour foam over the holes that are cut in the supports. As those holes fill with foam, they'll have the foam up on the patient's legs where you will need the repositioning. Next, Place it on the baseboard as shown where the patient will be sitting on the form. Carefully pull the bag back down and push the bag onto the foam so the foam doesn't slide off of the leg supports. Next, get as much air out of the bag as you can and fold the open end of the bag underneath. Have your patient lay down on top of the bag of foam and have them put their legs back in the frog leg position. Make sure that their legs are resting comfortably on the supports. If there's excess air in the form, carefully pop little po pockets of the bag open and remove as much air as possible. Using your hands, press the foam down between the patient's thighs to keep that area as open as much as possible. To get your patient out of the form after 15 minutes, have them simply slide up and out of the form. The form should be durable enough that if they need to sit on it, it will not harm the foam. Notice how deep impressions are made for the upper and lower legs of the patient and for the patient's feet. To have them get back into the form, simply have them get onto the table and slide up and into the form. They'll wiggle around in position until they're right back in place.